Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and today I have a doozy of a video for you. This is, uh, you know, I know I say ridiculous, insane, bonkers, all these terms all the time, right? Because we're doing craziness all the time. But today's video really is just over the top. Uh, in fact, a lot of people probably after watching this video are going to think, I believe the word that would come to mind is broken. Absolutely broken because what we're going to do today is beyond anything that I could have ever imagined. Uh, seriously, guys, this is this is nuts. So obviously it's going to be about our girl Shirag. Uh, Shirag really is just an absolute powerhouse, just totally ridiculous. We all know how strong she is. So let's just quickly run through the bill and we'll talk about what we're going to do today. She has 39, well, close to 40,000 energy attack, which is pretty nuts. She has 125 attack speed, 42 crit rate, 174 critical damage. Pretty low critical damage, guys. She does get a crit rate buff on her fist skill, though. And she has max ignore defense and max skill cooldown. You know, she does have the leadership tag, which we will not be utilizing today. All of her slots are amplified. And the thing that really makes Shirog just a freaking monstrosity is the fact she does have a damage accumulation based on how much damage you take, which is from her third skill. But when you hit the third skill, then you hit that tier three, you just get the maximum accumulated amount of damage automatically. You do not have to take the damage. You're going to get this crit damage bump uh, by 50%. It's just nuts. Not to mention, she puts him a nice immunity bubble that keeps refreshing. It's freaking amazing. Then you got the fourth skill, which is her main damaging skill, but actually with this uniform, the fifth skill does a hell of a lot of damage too. And you can see we got a 35% increase of crit rate. So if you got 40% crit rate on her, you're gonna max out your crit rate with this skill. Plus we have a heal. We don't need to look at anything else, guys. We'll just look at this leadership. She gets an apply to all allies, creates an energy shield equal to 20% of max HP. <laughs> Pretty much nothing, guys. Pretty much nothing, right? She has a fully awakened overdrive set, and look at this. She has no obelisk. We are going to do something that is pretty much unheard of, and that's we're going to take on a stage 99 without an obelisk against Cole. That's right, guys. We will not even use an obelisk. In fact, we will not even use the optimal best team or the strongest team for her to do it which is even more insane and to boot there's all this talk about how captain america is the best with weapon x and i proved in another video that that is not always the case but you know what i'm going to show you guys again that you do not need him for it obviously he's a free to play you should have him but you don't need him guys you don't there are other all defense down characters that can get it done for you you got Sue Storm, Negasonic, and Deadpool. Three other very powerful all defense down strikers that you can throw in with Weapon Hex to get it done. She has a legendary uniform. What the hell? I thought I had this thing in Mythic. What? Well, okay. So we got a, we got a legendary uniform. So that's not even fully uh, maxed out. Okay. So we got Infinity War here, we're getting to some dodge, we're getting a little energy attack from this disappointing uniform right here. We're getting a little HP from Ronin, and we're getting a little energy defense from Ebony, and then our last uniform is Spider-Man Far From Home, which is a decent uniform, it's okay, uh, but unfortunately I don't have her at Mythic. And because I already recorded the gameplay, I'm just going to leave the stats the way they are. So guys, what we're going to do is we're going to do two runs. The first run you're going to see is Sharon Rogers with a CTP of energy. And you'll see the proc in the top left hand corner when we're playing with her. And then in the next run, we will not have the proc. We will not have an obelisk on her. And you will see just how freaking insane this is i can't think of any other better words guys like this this is really this is just i don't even know what to say so guys let's get in the action and let's rock and roll prepare to be blown away you guys so we're just going to be using sharon no support whatsoever guys we got drax and hogan on there just for fun 
Our strikers are going to be Scarlet, or I'm sorry, Rachel, Captain America, Weapon Hex, and then we got Kingpin and Star Lord to decrease the skill cooldown of the co op skill. And watch and learn, guys. Watch and learn. We're going to hit our 3 5, hit the co op, hit the tier 3. And remember, in this run, we do have a CTP of energy. You can see in the top left hand corner that green that's counting down, that's your proc from the CTP of energy. Look at this. This is stage 99. Just her. Just her with a damage proc with a CTP of energy, guys. Look at this. And you don't even need a CTP of energy. You could freaking just use a regular damage proc. I guarantee it. I guarantee. Look at this. She is absolutely mutilating this. Now, I know I said earlier we don't need Captain America, but for this run, I went ahead and used him. But in the next run, we won't. But I don't need him. I could have used someone else. So here we go. Watch this. I'm waiting for my proc to get off cooldown. I'm going to hit 3 5, hit the co op, then the tier 3. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that crap. It's freaking nuts. It's just, and it's easy as hell. I mean, you're just, all you got to do is just keep running around a little bit. That's it. We don't need no heals, don't need nothing. You really don't even need to decrease the skill cooldown of the co-op skill. I'm just doing it so we can get our tier 3 off even faster. Or get a co-op skill off even faster. So now the co-op's already ready. We're going to run up, hit our 3-5 co-op tier 3. And booyah! Not bad. Look, look at that. This is absolutely ridiculous. So all you guys that got Sharon, which should be pretty much everybody, look at what she can do. Look at this. Even if you have low energy attack on your cards, you're going to be able to destroy Call. Look at this. As long as you have Weapon Hex and one of the good all defense down strikers like Captain America, Deadpool, Negasonic, I imagine. And even Sue, guys, like, you know, if you play properly, can get it done. It's really ridiculous. So we just cleared this. I already had this recorded. So now let's go into the next run. So let me show you guys another easy clear like what we did with yesterday, except something a little bit different. We got Ebony on the team, and she's got he's got mind control on his third skill. Plus he's offering 40% energy attack and 25% damage on supervillains from his uniform effect. We use his mind control as three, then we switch to Shirog. We run through all five of her skills. The mind control is going to last for 10 seconds. We're going to run through all of her skills again. Now we switch to Ebony again. We're going to mind control Black Dwarf again. We're going to keep him locked down, keep him crowd controlled. Now we're waiting for Shirog to get off cooldown. We're going to hit our attack buff from... Warwolf, switch to Shirog, go a 3-5, go co-op, wait for the Deadpool to throw down the bombs, and then use our tier 3. And look at this. This is with no obelisk. This is with nothing, guys. No obelisk. This is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, right now our critical damage is maxed out, but it would be maxed out anyways, even if we didn't have Warwolf, because Warwolf offers 30% critical damage from his passive. But whenever we do the tier 3, she already gets 50% increase to her critical damage. So it's automatically maxed out. You see the strikers we got going on, guys. We got Anti-Venom for heals, which we probably don't even need. We got Silver Surfer for damage out super villains. We got Weapon Hex, of course, for all defense down. And Deadpool for all defense down. And Thanos for the 12% damage out super villains. The trick with using Deadpool, because her all defense down lasts for 10 seconds, is make sure before you use your tier 3, before you bring in your co-op, that there is no all defense down applied. Look what I'm doing. I'm just going back and forth, back and forth. We're going to mind control Black Dwarf, switch to Shrog, run through all her skills. Black Dwarf is still under mind control. We're waiting. We're going to run through all of her skills again. Then we're going to switch to Ebony and mind control Black Dwarf. Watch this. We're going to mind control him again. Now he's mind control for 10 seconds. We switch to Warwolf. Now we're waiting. There's no all defense down. There's a little blue shield that'll show up above Cole's bar. And if you don't see that, there it is right there. If you don't see that before you do your co-op skill, that's when you should use the co-op. If you see that sucker, do not use your co-op because that means that more than likely Deadpool's all defense down is already applied and Weapon Hex will come in afterwards. And you want her to come in and do hers first. 
Something about Deadpool that's absolutely amazing, at least with this uniform, with the holiday uniform, is the fist skill takes a little moment to wind up before the all-defense down applies. So it gives Weapon Hex plenty of time to come in and strike when you hit the co-op skill before Deadpool applies her all-defense down. It's absolutely all amazing, guys. Look at this. No damage proc. Nothing. Look at this power. This is crazy. This is crazy. Now, some of you are going to watch this kind of video, and you're going to be like, this is totally broken. We need to nerf the all defense down, or we need to change it. And here's what I would say to that. As far as I'm concerned, I'll play no matter what. Whatever happens in this game, whatever nerf comes our way, I'm a player. I like challenges. I'll just, you know, we'll just figure it out. We'll figure it all out together. But... I really don't want it to change because if it does, that means characters like Iron Man that can barely do it won't be able to do this anymore. Characters like Thor won't be able to push as high. Like some of our beloved characters will not be able to push as high in World Boss. So I would ask yourselves, you know, would you like that? Probably not. Probably not. And there's a lot of World Bosses. There's a lot of World Boss Ultimate content. And nobody's even close to getting through all of it at stage 99. Nobody. So I really don't want this to change, even though this is absolutely broken. This is absolutely ridiculous. And it is, guys, it is. So we're going to switch back to Ebony here. There we go. We're going to mind control. Boom. Switch back to Warwolf. And we're going to wait. Dun, 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 dun. Wait for a Shrog. Get our attack buff. Switch to Shrog. Three, five, co-op. Wait a moment. And then tier three. Dun, 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 dun. And one beautiful thing about not having a damage proc is you don't have to worry about damage proc. You don't have to worry about timing. And you, the whole time you're just crowd controlling Black Dwarf the entire time, switching back and forth between Ebony every time you use Shrog, and you're just relying on Shrog's tier 3 to do all the damage with the all defense down. It's freaking nuts. I mean, it's nuts. Look at this. This is crazy. So like I said earlier, guys, all you guys that have low... If you even have no energy attack, zero, but you have max raid level, you'll still be able to do stage 99 against Call as long as the all defense downs uh, stay in effect in the game. Look at this. Boom. <laughs> no damage proc, guys. Zero. And we did this with Ebony and Warwolf on the team. And with Deadpool and not Captain America. So that just goes to show you guys that Captain America didn't break the game at all. He's just another all-defense down striker that was brought in that's getting it done really well. But as you guys see, just saw, Deadpool can be used very... You can use her really well. And you could use other World Boss Ultimate strikers that apply all-defense down as well with Weapon Hex to do crazy freaking crap. So guys... Let me know what you think about Sharag freaking tearing this up. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.